The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Wheat School. Today we're going to discuss yield enhancement networks, or what is commonly known as yen. Um, we first heard about yen last winter when uh, Dr. Ruth Wade and Peter Johnson discussed how growers in the United Kingdom were using these networks to learn from each other and improve production practices and yield. Today, we're going to hear about how yens are taking root in Canada. And to bring us up to speed, I'm joined by Joanna Falling. She is uh, the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture's wheat specialist. Hi, Joanna. How's it going? Hi, Vern. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you, and I look forward to seeing you more this summer when we get back in the field. But uh, hey, before we get there, let's, uh, let's talk again a little bit about yen. Um, For viewers who haven't heard a lot about it, tell us about um, how they work and how they can benefit wheat production. Sure. Yeah, so yens, uh, or in other words, the yield enhancement networks, uh, the goal of these yens is for agricultural organizations, you know, such as the grain farmers of Ontario, academics, you know, such as researchers through the University of Guelph, and of course, farmers, Uh, you know, who are striving to improve crop returns. Uh, You know, we're all coming together and we're going to work together and learn from each other in order to close the gap between our actual yields and our yield potential on farm. Yeah. No, go ahead. Oh, so I say, so yeah, so it's essentially done through benchmarking. So we're going to benchmark or through the Yield Enhancement Network, they benchmark farms. Uh, against one another and evaluate how an individual field or farm measures uh, up against one another. And so it's it's really about that peer-to-peer learning. Yeah. And, you know, you've, you're building a model, right, for, for yield and production. How important is that, you know, obviously you, you, in, in having that benchmark? Yeah, so that's definitely a huge part of the project. So the UK, uh, through their yens, they've developed a model that, you know, works quite well through for their climate and their growing conditions. And so our goal is, you know, to take that model and adapt it to Ontario or, or to Canadian growing conditions. So through through a pilot project, collecting information and validating that uh, and finding out, you know, what is our true yield potential here on farm? Um, you know, we hear a lot of yields, you know, in that 100 to 120 bushels. Um, but, you know, we we believe that our yield potential here in Ontario anyways is is much higher than that. And so hopefully through some of this modeling, we'll be able to help growers determine what their actual potential is based on their soil type, their growing conditions, all that sorts of fun stuff. Now, we've seen um, several yens in Canada. The first one started in Prince Edward Island, and we're also seeing uh, networks in Ontario. Tell us about the yens in this province, and, and what have you learned? Yeah, so we uh, we are starting up a, a yen, a more a broad yen in Ontario in in 2021. Uh, but Dale Cowan and his group did do a yen pilot last year in southern Ontario. So they had about 24, 25 farms that they worked with, and it was really interesting. You know, they looked at a whole bunch of different parameters. You know. Everything from from seeding, uh, whether that's you know starter fertilizer, seeding date, uh, plant populations, right through to nitrogen management, fungicide applications, and and there were some interesting results in that first year. Uh, one of the interesting things that they found was, uh, you know, as yields went up, uh, the the correlation was actually really with population. So where we saw higher yields, we tend to see you know increased plant stands. Uh, but on the flip side, what was interesting where we had higher nitrogen, that didn't always correlate with high yields. And so those are some of the things that we're going to dive into and, and see, you know, what sort of trends we see and, and, and figure out, you know, why is that? Why is it that those high nitrogen rates didn't always correlate to high yields? And so those are the sort of things that we're going to dive into. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit more about your plans for 2021. You're going to have a lot of Ontario growers involved here, but there's also going to be a Michigan connection. Yeah, absolutely. So we're starting uh, a collaboration with Michigan State University. So we've got grain farmers of Ontario, researchers from the University of Guelph, along with Michigan State uh, wheat growers and Michigan State University. So we've got about 
uh, 10 to 15 growers in Michigan and about 20 in Ontario. And so we're hoping not only to learn from each other within Ontario, but from the other, uh, you know, local Great Lakes states. And I think the the goal or the idea is that this will then expand across the entire province this coming fall. And if there's enough interest, perhaps even expand to other Great Lakes states, including Ohio and New York State as well. Hey, final question for you. Um, Dr. Ruth Wade last year, you know, she really said you gr- UK growers have really grabbed on to this yen concept. You know, it's become prestigious, competitive and influential. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming you'd like to see the same thing take take root here in Canada and in Ontario. Absolutely. We would love to see that. You know, there's, uh, you know, it's not just a yield competition. Uh, You know, we obviously want to see the growers compete for the highest yield, but we also want to see growers compete for the highest potential. Uh, You know, just because uh, one grower's, you know, yield potential might be, say, 180 bushels, uh, even if yours is, say, 150 or 160 bushels, but you're able to obtain that, um, you know, we really want to see that competition amongst growers. And I, I can't emphasize enough the importance of that of that peer to peer learning aspect. Um, you know, I think we're going to we're going to be much better together if we all learn together. And I think we'll really see uh, an improvement and in, an increase in our, our yields and long term sustainability of of wheat in the rotation in Ontario. Well, hey, uh, great stuff, Joanna. Always fun having you on the Wheat School. Look forward to catching up with you down the road. We'll talk some more yen. How about that? Sounds great. Happy to be here and looking forward to it. 